Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out asking about creating a custom part in Tinkercad. I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so here is the part. As you can see, that is a hexagon. When I look at this, I see that it is cut out of a circle, and then this, in my mind, is just a rectangle with a couple of half circles on it. Let me show you how I would make a part like this. Of course, friends, the first step is create new design. I'm going to design in millimeters. I'm going to call this wrench because it's something like a wrench. And then I'm going to bring out that rectangle. I think I'm going to keep it 20 millimeters wide or 2 centimeters. And then I'm also going to make it, and I'm going to make it 80 millimeters this way. I want it to be 6 millimeters thick. So I think that might be strong enough. I don't know what the application for this part is going to be, so I'm not sure about strength. But this is how I would start to build it. So now that I've got the basic area, I'm gonna do W for work plane. I'm gonna click on this end right here and I'm gonna bring out the half roof. It is this little blue one. I can now put the work plane back on the ground. Because I had the work plane there, it is dropped in the right spot. I'm gonna change that height to six millimeters. And the nice thing about staying size 20 is it's gonna line up because they were both built to be that size. I'm gonna hit D to drop it to the ground. And then I also wanna put it on the other side. Friends, I'm gonna do this by doing Control D. I'm gonna put my work plane over here. And when I hit D, it drops that to the other side, but I wanna mirror it. So all I do is click mirror and flip and boom, we've just created that part of the shape. Let's take those two pieces and group them. This is where you could adjust the thickness, whatever you wanted. First, we're gonna bring out the hexagon tool. You can pick your own sides if you need. I'm gonna take this and rotate it 90 degrees. Notice I stayed close to the shape, so it used the inner circle and it snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you come out here, it goes one degree at a time, so it's a little bit more tricky. If I line this up with the grid, friends, it's 10 millimeters on a side. I recommend that you figure out how much you need per side. Set your grid to 0.1 and then you can hold down shift and shrink it to find that exact measurement. So say I needed six millimeters on a side, I can move it to here and you can see right now I'm at seven. So I would just keep shrinking till I found it exactly right. You could also make a six millimeter cube and have it line up with that face so you knew you had it perfect. Now I'm gonna take this and make it a hole. And then if we look back at that design again, it has got a circle up here for strength. We'll add that as well. Let's go back to our design bring out a cylinder make it totally round and then remember this is all 20 so it's going to be the same size so let's bring this out here to the edge this is kind of slick i'm going to select these two choose a line and i want it to be out to the edge and to the middle so that lines up perfect instead of six we're going to make this seven so it's a little bit stronger and because we have this piece we can now hold down shift and click on our hexagon choose a line, click on the orange piece, and we want it to be middle. And then so you can see this better, I'm choosing from these three right here and I want middle. Friends, when you group it just like that, you have created your awesome little wrench. How slick is that? Alrighty friends, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.